Welcome to Kick In 101, episode 4. On this episode, we are going to work the hook kick. Primarily, we're going to use it from the rear leg, but we are going to do some kicking drills using the lead leg. Okay, maybe you've never done a hook kick before. I understand that. But if you have done a side kick, then you can end up throwing that side kick. Then the hook kick comes right off of that. Okay, not exactly, but similar. Let's check it out. When you throw in a side kick, I'm going to do it from the lead foot for the moment. I know we're doing a lot of back leg for this video, but I just want to give you the mechanics of this. Once you have your leg up, the knee would be chambered off to this side and the foot would be out here. So now I'm going on like a diagonal line. It's still a straight line, but my foot would be here and it would be going that way. I like to point my butt cheek towards where I'm going to kick when I do this. That's the side kick, the way I do it. Here, then I go on that dial in the line, and then my foot will be lined up with my hips. A lot of people say that that's not how you do a side kick. Well, that's how I do a side kick. You have more power to it. But now let's go off. I know we just did a side kick video. Check that one out too. But this one here, I'm going like this. Instead of going on that line, I'm going with the straight line. Then I'm hooking in. So you want to hit with the back of your heel. That is your primary weapon. Okay, if you're sparring, you don't want to hurt somebody, you can use the ball of your foot to hit that way and soften it up. But the actual hook kick is meant to be with the back of your heel. So now think about it coming at your target. Oops, you missed it, hook. Now we got this wonderful bag. All right, I'm just being silly. But anyhow, here we go. I'm coming out, side kick goes on that line. Instead of coming straight in, it still looks like a side kick while I'm coming out, then I fold my leg. That's how I do my side kick, or hook kick. Now that you have a brief description of the hook kick, just coming from the lead foot, what I want to talk about now is, like I have been talking about, coming off that back leg, but making it look the same as the front kick, the side kick, the roundhouse kick as we've done. Different kick, same travel time, same neutral position. Well, I'm talking about travel time. I'm talking about from your foot, from the floor, to position to kick. Floor. A lot of times we're taught to lift the leg up. I have a problem with that. Now, I've done it for a long time. If you watch a lot of my videos, you can see that's how I did it. That's how I taught it. But as I get more seasoned, more educated in the system of martial arts that I'm at called Kempo, I learned that it's not going to be like this. You're wasting energy going straight up. You're losing balance. What's nice about this, I'm walking, I'm turning my knee through, the leg comes out and I walk. So when I kick like this, it goes in my stride so it becomes more effortless, becomes more natural to kick. But also, like I was saying with the other videos, at this point it looks like a front kick. Front. Now I turn round. Knee comes through. Now I turn side. And today, knee or heel comes up. Knee comes through. Turn, same way we did with the side kick, but this time I'm coming out more round instead of on that diagonal line. I'm going more straight line where my foot is. Then I hook. You can even swing it out a little farther if you need to, but bring the heel up. So I'm going here, heel up. Knee comes through. Pivoting the foot. Talked about this a little bit on the other ones, but what I want to do is raise my heel up then turn and that's where I'm snapping myself into my kicking position roundhouse side kick hook kick whichever one you choose to do that's the same way we're going to do a kick and drill I'm using the left leg right now you can do it both sides I'm just going to use one leg right now 
I'm gonna put one hand on the wall. I'm already had my foot pivoted. Chamber up here. So that's our kicking position. That's where the kick starts from is that chamber. Remember, this is the neutral position, but you have to have different positions for different kicks. Some are similar. But once we're already here, extend it out, hook, bring it back to here. You can do that slow, slow kicking with it. We can also do like we did before, having a leg here, count one, two, three, four, five. Watch it straighten out, hook, one, two, three, four, and five. You could do it like that. I, I like to do like three to five reps. Sometimes I really feel spicy. Like I said, I'll do 10 reps. That's really hard. You don't have to kick super high, but you will gain mobility. You will gain kicking ability. It's going to be easier. You can do it slow like that, holding it out, make your legs sore, tired. Awesome. Now when you throw one kick, it's going to be much better. If you watch the other episodes, we have the setup drill, bringing the knee through. Go back and do those. Heel up, knee. Do that for a while. Heel up, knee. Bring it up. There's your front. Heel, knee comes up. Leg goes across. That's set up for your roundhouse. Then we had it for the side kick. Heel comes up. Knee comes up. Chamber, having the foot ready to go. The hook kick is the same thing as the side kick with that chamber. So you can do that drill if you want. Go back and work it. You'll get better. But right now, we're going to go with the left leg. We're just going to throw a few hook kicks. But take that pattern. I can be on the move. Heel comes off the floor. All right, now let's go with this. Heel comes off the floor, knee comes up. We're gonna pivot around chamber and throw the hook kick. You can go slow if you can. If you need to hold something, hold something. But I wanna work it coming from the back leg to the front. So let's go with this heel comes forward. So I'm leaving, my heel leaves the floor. My knee goes forward. My foot leaves the floor, my knee still points forward. There's a technique in Trace's karate where you grab knee, stomp, grab the head, elbow. We call that knee of vengeance. Same way you're doing with that knee. Coming up, knee, chamber as a switch or as a pivot, and then throwing the hook kick. So here it comes in, this comes out, here's my hook kick. Now you can bring your foot back. Hook, bring it back, and then you test your balance a little bit. Have fun with that. Work the mechanics. Do it slow. Get good at it slow. As you can see, I used my weaker leg. I lost a little balance going slow. That's okay. I'm still growing at this, just like you are too. These kicking drills have made me a better kicker. As you see in some of my old videos, I might have been kicking better at one point than not. That's because I wasn't doing the drills all the time. When I'm doing these drills and these exercises, that's where my kicks get better. Now, stretching is a big part of this too. So you want to do some stretching, and then I could show you some of my stretches. I'm going to give you a brief down on different stretches I like to do. I'm going to give you a couple on this video. Here's some of the stretches that I like to do from the floor. I'm going to give you a couple today, that's it. And what I like to do is take my foot back like here. See how I got my leg bent? What I want to do is lay back. If you need to, have your leg come up like that. If you're able to, just let it go down. You can wiggle it like this and bring it down. At one point, you can put this foot and try to put the other knee to the floor. And it'd be straight down like that. So from this angle, I'm going to do my left leg. This comes back. I'm working it here. So 
See now I can bounce it around. Then I start getting the stretch up in here. You can put the foot down on it and coming down like this. You can hold that for a little bit. Be careful on this. Anything you do, don't overstretch. You can rip your muscles. Make sure you're hydrated. Drink a lot of water. Hydrate before, or after, during all these workouts, and keep enough liquid in your body. I'm not talking about drinking Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Drink water. H2O. <laughs> all right. So the next one, what I like to do from here is take one foot here, this crosses. I'm gonna lay here, and I'm gonna just push my knee forward. You can be bouncing it forward. Obviously, you're gonna do both sides. Another thing I like to do is grab my shin like this and pull it in. So from this point, I'll have my leg cross, I'll come in here and I'll pull in right here. And that stretches, you know, the, you wanna get the hips in all that area up here. Your core is where I'm stretching with these stretches. So there's just a couple of stretches. Hope you enjoy this, have fun, stretch safely, train safely. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, God bless. Oh, hey, how you doing? You're still here? I'm glad you stuck around. I have another channel called Better Life 75. You can find it on YouTube, Better Life 75 15. You can find it there. If you're looking just for positive and uplifting, that's the channel to be on. You can also go on my website, betterlife75.com. And that's where you can end up seeing when I have my book for sale on there. I got t-shirts that I make and hats. I got Kempo hats on there too. But check it out. Go to betterlife75.com. And you can also hit the link to go to buy my book. You go link to get the shirts, like I said. But also, you can go right to my YouTube channel from there too. So check it out.